All right, what's up, you guys? Here I go again one more time with your boy, Pollo B23, Pollo Productions. Uh, uh, today I'll make a video about my tools, the clippers I use every single day to do any type of job. All right, okay, I'm going to start out by showing y'all the clippers. The clipper I like to use is wall designers. It's an alright clipper, you know. The designer faded away already. It's pretty old. I mainly use these clippers to use on top of the head or to blend in uh, hard cut fades. Hard to explain. I, I, didn't, I didn't get any barber color, so I don't, I don't really know how to use a, the zero, double zero, triple zero, all that bullshit. I learned by watching and practice. I'm only 17 years old, you know what I'm saying? Alright, next clipper. Andy's Masters. Andy's Fade Masters. Come with, with the fade blade. See how thin that is? This is a really good pair of clippers. I recommend this for anybody. Let's see what else we got. My Andy's T Outliners. I only use these three pair of clippers. I can do any job, any single job. I don't need a. Um, a classic 76 Oster or anything. I mean, don't get me wrong. I heard it's a good clipper. I know a lot of barbers that use it. But nah, not for me. This is all you need. This is all you need. To get a good taper fade, a good ball fade, anything. Let's see what else we got. My bronze shaver. This thing right here. This thing is a badass. You know, sometimes when, when, you, when you're doing that, that skin... The skin fade, the skin ball fade, you know, sometimes you leave that line. If you know the correct way to use this, this clippers, no line at all. Yeah, you have to do it a certain motion. I learned it from from a boss. I worked at, I worked at a, at a barber shop. I'm working at a barber shop, and he, he showed me how to use it. This is a real nice pair of clippers. I don't even think they sell these at stores anymore. Then you got to get them online or something. Let's see what else. My neck duster, half a neck duster. Of course, after each cut, I use my alcohol. There's many things you can use it after shave or whatever. It doesn't matter as long as it has alcohol in it. Water, whenever you do scissor cuts. I don't, I don't get a lot of scissor cuts, so I, I bought a cheap pair of shears, Sally's, 20 bucks. You know. My favorite tool of all. Oh yeah, my razor blade, or oh. blade holder. All right, this thing I don't know. I like it so much because it makes all my lines look extra, extra sharp. I think this this is what makes my my work stand out. See, clean blades, barbers for you beginner barbers. Remember to use clean blades after after every single cut. For every single cut, clean your blades. Clean your clipper blades. Use Andy's Cool Care. Alright. Um, I know a lot of barbers. Yeah, I use water. I use um, oil shin whenever you shave around the edge up or whatever. Uh, I, like, I like to use this. I call it my guacamole. Use it for your tacos and everything. <laughs> now I'm playing. Look. This thing here is, is hair conditioner. The hair conditioner... Uh, it, it it allows the blade to glide real smooth. I don't know. I like it. It's like shaving cream. It's better. I got. Uh, I learned it from this barber where, where where I was working with. He used it and it, it works pretty good. Yeah. What else? Of course, my combs, flat top combs. I use these combs for everything. 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 After every every cut, I need this comb. Why? Cause there's some places you can't get in with the guards, and the, the comb helps so much. Uh, my blades. These are the blades that I use. They're not not that expensive. Uh, each each pack contains, I think, ten blades. Ten blades. Of course, you cut them in half, so you get you get twenty. Not that expensive, about 99 cents each, you know, get them at, the, at your local beauty supply. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, with these type of clippers, you can get pretty much any fade done. This is all you really need for your beginner barbers. I recommend you get these type of clippers. I think all of this probably ran me about about three, four hundred dollars. Is, is not too expensive. Trust me, you can do any cut if you really know what you're doing. Uh, just practice, everyone. It was Poyo Productions. It's your boy Poyo Beast 23. I'm out.